In 2019, the NATO alliance was rocked to its core when Turkey, after years of tight-knit military collaboration, threw a curveball by importing missile defense systems straight from Russia's arsenal. The United States was taken by surprise, and fears escalated that these Russian weapons might double as Trojan horses, spying on the highly coveted F-35 Lightning II that Turkey was on the brink of acquiring. In a move that sent shockwaves through the corridors of power, the U.S. then yanked Turkey out of the F-35 program. Staring down the barrel of a billion-dollar loss with no F-35 to show for it, Turkey didn't just lick its wounds. It decided to roll up its sleeves and forge its own destiny. The TIA Khan marks Turkey's audacious bid to join the elite club of nations capable of designing a fifth-generation fighter jet that could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. The Khan, a titan among jets, is engineered to dazzle on paper and in the air, boasting cutting-edge stealth capabilities, blistering supersonic speeds, and a silhouette that overshadows the famed F-35 Lightning II. As Turkey's pride takes to the skies for its maiden voyage, the world watches with bated breath. Will this ambitious underdog transform its sky-high promises into reality, or will it falter, a mere shadow of the American engineering marvel it seeks to rival? Since her induction into NATO on February 18, 1952, Turkey has utilized her prime real estate, bridging Europe and Asia, to cement her status as an essential pillar of the alliance. With one of NATO's most powerful forces, Turkey evolved into a key ally for the United States and her NATO brethren. In a bold show of solidarity during the 1980s, America decked out Turkey with a squadron of top-notch F-16 fighting Falcons, showing their tight-knit military camaraderie. But the waters turned choppy when Turkey threw a curveball, opting for the Russian-made S-400 missile defense system in 2019. This move was a stark pivot from NATO's cohesive grid of interoperable and secure technology standards, signaling Turkey was navigating a fresh strategic course at odds with its allies. The crux of this squabble was the friction between Turkey's armed shopping spree and NATO's core security ethos, with the S-400 deal throwing a glaring spotlight on this rift. The US and NATO allies raised the alarm, contending that integrating Russian hardware into Turkey's armory was akin to leaving the henhouse door wide open for the fox. Reacting with a heavy hand, the US swiftly axed Turkey from the prestigious F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter program, a move that would have upgraded Turkey's aging fleet to the pinnacle of fifth-generation jet fighters, granting them access to unparalleled aerial combat prowess. The American stance was clear. The presence of the S-400 could potentially allow Russia to glean classified intel on the F-35's cutting-edge tech, jeopardizing its stealth capabilities. The alarm bells rang so loud that NATO allies stood united, revoking Turkey's invitation to the F-35 club. The repercussions for Turkey were immediate and far-reaching. Beyond the gaping hole left in its defense capabilities, the financial blowback was severe. Turkey's stake in the F-35 venture was not insignificant, with over a billion dollars sunk and a looming $9 billion order. The economic aftershocks were palpable. Yet, Turkey was not about to be grounded or left scavenging for tech scraps from partners who might yank the chain at a moment's notice. In a daring leap, they embarked on crafting their own legend, the TAI Khan, a homegrown fifth-generation fighter jet, Turkey's audacious counterpunch to the iconic F-35. In February 2024, Turkey roared onto the global stage, showcasing its determination to not just catch up, but lead in the realm of aircraft technology with the maiden flight of its first fifth-generation fighter jet, Khan. Under the watchful eye of Turkish Aerospace Industries, or TAI, Commander Barbaros Demirbas of the Turkish Air Force took the helm for this historic test flight. Clocking in at 11 minutes, this inaugural flight not only soared to heights of 8,000 feet, 2,400 meters, but also ramped up speeds reaching 230 knots, 425 kilometers per hour, making a bold statement about Turkey's ambitions and technological prowess. Born out of necessity after Turkey's unexpected boot from the international F-35 program, the Khan demonstrates Turkey's resilience and ingenuity. However, this domestic triumph is buoyed by significant international collaboration. A cornerstone of this global partnership is the pact with BAE Systems from the UK, a deal valued at $125 million. This collaboration harnesses BAE Systems' deep well of combat aircraft development know-how, promising to sharpen the TF Khan's aerodynamics for unparalleled agility and stealth, crucial for slipping past radar. Beyond refining the jet's sleek form, BAE Systems is also tasked with knitting together the complex web of avionics and armaments for a seamless operational tapestry, 
alongside offering their Sage project management insights and technical wisdom to keep the project on the cutting edge. Further amplifying Khan's technological clout is the selection of the EJ200 engine from Eurojet, a power plant engineered for supercruise capabilities. Despite navigating through turbulent disputes with Rolls-Royce over engine technology and intellectual property rights, Turkey's aviation visionaries remain unwavering in their quest. Christened by President Recep Erdogan, Khan, meaning ruler or king of kings, is more than a name. It embodies Turkey's soaring aspirations and determination to ascend as a daunting force in the aerospace arena. The unveiling of the Khan marks a significant milestone, casting a long shadow over the storied legacy of the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35, renowned for redefining stealth and combat versatility on a global scale, now finds a surprising challenger in the Khan. This head-to-head -head comparison highlights the evolutionary leap in combat aircraft design and underscores the Khan's ambitious goal to rival and surpass the F-35's vaunted capabilities. With a commanding stance, the Khan stretches out to 62.3 feet, or 19 meters in length, and spans 44.3 feet, or 13.5 meters across the wings, outmatching the F-35 in sheer size. This not only affords the Khan an imposing presence, but also allows for larger internal weapons bays. By keeping its payload, ranging from air-to-air -air missiles to precision bombs, tucked away, the Khan adopts the F-35's stealth-first approach, yet amplifies it. It marries the art of remaining unseen with the potential for delivering a devastating array of ordnance, offering a potent mix of stealth and strike power. In the performance arena, the Khan sets its sights high, boasting a blistering top speed of 1,491 miles per hour, or 2,400 kilometers per hour, and a service ceiling that kisses the edge of space at 65,617 feet, or 20,000 meters. These stats not only place it shoulder to shoulder with the F-35 in terms of aerial supremacy, but hint at superior strategic flexibility and reach. Stealth capabilities and cutting-edge avionics are the battlegrounds where the Khan and F-35 are poised for a technological showdown. The Khan's design, with its seamless integration of wings and fuselage, aims to slice through radar detection, mirroring the F-35 stealth strategy, but pushing the envelope further. Coupled with an active electronically scanned array, or AESA radar, the Khan is gunning for superiority in detecting and locking onto targets, potentially tipping the scales in electronic warfare. The F-35, armed with its own advanced AESA radar and sophisticated avionics suite, sets an impressive benchmark, igniting fierce competition in aerial combat capabilities. Supercruise capability emerges as an arena where the Khan aims to carve out its supremacy. This ability to sustain supersonic flight without fuel-guzzling afterburners not only heralds a revolution in efficiency, but also amplifies operational stealth, areas where the F-35, despite its technological leaps, sticks to a more traditional playbook. The Khan's initial propulsion by General Electric F-110 engines, with eyes set on developing homegrown propulsion technologies, underscores Turkey's strategic pivot towards self-reliance and technological sovereignty. This stands in stark contrast to the F-35's commitment to the single-source Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, spotlighting Turkey's drive to not just match but leapfrog its fleet's capabilities with an underlying theme of strategic autonomy. This bold stride could potentially reshuffle Turkey's stance in global aerospace dynamics. In comparing the Khan and the F-35, it's evident that Turkey's aerial titan is engineered to be a heavyweight contender. With its stealth prowess, blistering speed, and state-of-the-art avionics, the Khan's considerable dimensions might tip the scales in its favor in terms of range and ordnance capacity. Its design ethos and performance benchmarks underscore a relentless pursuit of air dominance without sidelining its prowess in precision ground assaults. The Khan heralds Turkey's ascendancy in defense technology by blending stealth, cutting-edge avionics, and superior performance metrics. <laughs>